Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica Miller. I live just outside of Nashville, Tennessee with my husband of 16 years, Gary, and our Border Collie, Percy. Here on this channel, I'll take you into our home and into my simple yet fun-filled life. You can find me here at the house or yard bringing motivation to the mundane or out and about vlogging whatever happens to be going on in my life at the time. If you're into that sort of thing, I'd be so grateful if you'd consider subscribing below and we can do this together. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. After the month of December, I feel like everything is just totally, completely out of control and I just have to start everything over. And so I always like to start with a healthy diet and getting back on track after everything that December was. Does anybody feel like January hits and it's just like a big knock on the head, like wake up, you know, get back to work. Everything is staring you in the face and you just gotta get control of something, especially your energy because the more cookies and cakes and sugar and all that stuff that we, we ate over the holidays, um, you know, your energy is not there. And so you have to eat healthy in order to have the energy to keep up with life. We want our lives to be like a dream But we get stuck in reality You feel the same, you know what I mean Time to make a change Aren't you fed up, aren't you curious What we could do if we put some trust Into ourselves before time is up Take a leap of faith Let's get I do like to wipe my fridge out about once a week if I can get to it um, normally, but we were out of town and just everything was needed to be restocked and just reorganized because, um, like as I said, December takes over and just, just everything gets chaotic. So um, yeah, it's pretty messy in here. There's some blueberries at the bottom, but I'm going to clean that up, clean it out, and we're going to go to Sam's Club and start over. I've been putting my onions in the fridge for years and they've stayed fresher for me. I don't know. It says you're not supposed to store them according to Google in the refrigerator, but it works for me and I haven't had a problem with it. Maybe because I use them so fast. I don't know, but um, I store them in the right side and then I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. I, it's never going to be a perfect fridge like you see, you know, it's not going to, so many people have these perfect, you know, refrigerators with all the bins and I tried that and then I end up putting like a big crock pot bowl in there and then there's no room because there's bins in my way. So <laughs> usually I just, you know, tidy it up and I'm good with this. And what we have left 
leftover of the broccoli, carrots, mushrooms, and tomatoes, and then our proteins to cook. Now I just need to fill it up with healthy stuff from Sam's Club. So I got some eggs, mushrooms, rainbow cauliflower, grapes, salmon, bananas, almond milk, unsweetened vanilla, liquid egg whites, spring mix, dog treats, lemons, grapefruits, peppers, oranges, lots of oranges because we love oranges, and a pineapple. And so I'm just gonna put all this away real quick. Whenever I go to Sam's Club, I stock up on bananas. And I know it looks so funny because I'll have like three or four, sometimes five bushels of bananas sitting there on my counter. And, and people probably walk in and go, what in the world? <laughs> is, she, is she feeding monkeys in here or something? I mean, it is so funny. But anyway, the bananas are actually used for, um, you know, I freeze the bananas as many as I can in Ziploc bags and then put them in the freezer and that's like my ice cream. So Gary and I love frozen banana ice cream. Um, you can put anything on it. You can put like chocolate chips, sunflower seeds, different nuts and stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> Years ago, before we had a dog, I would just use cleaning towels for everything, cleaning rags. I never bought paper towels. But ever since we've had our sweet, sweet Percy, we need paper towels because dog hairs get on everything. And I mean everything. You could wipe a counter down and there would be dog hairs on it if I didn't use paper towels. So this is why we have Sam's Club paper towels because you can get a lot. Sit. Good boy. For this recipe, I just have the mushrooms from Sam's, water chestnuts that were in my cover, a purple onion or red onion, whatever you want to call it. I call it purple and red, both. Um, some broccoli, cauliflower, those peppers I got from Sam's Club, the carrots I have left over, and then you're gonna need a big bowl like this. I got this one off Amazon. Um, it's got three bowls in it, but I'm just gonna use the big one here. Oh, and the most important ingredient, Ken Steakhouse Light Balsamic Vinaigrette. That's all we need. This is really just like a dump, rough, chop any vegetable you like, throw it in a big bowl, um, cover it with 
you know, Ken's light balsamic vinaigrette dressing, shake it up and roast it in the oven. Or you can have it fresh. It's just a really good way of getting our vegetables. I feel like it's just so hard this time of year to get anything fresh. And everything we eat is, like, it's just easier to grab packaged stuff this time of year. And that, that's not what I want to go for right now. <laughs> I want to be grabbing, you know, vegetables that are pre-made uh, in the refrigerator so that, I, you know, we'll get our vegetables in. Because actually, this is the time of year we need more fruits and vegetables because everybody gets sick during this season so it's just a really good time to try to get as many nutrients as you can Trust me, I am not healthy all the time. I'm that person who will binge eat on cookie, cake, all that kind of stuff, and be that girl that's going, oh, please don't even talk about healthy food right now. I need a break, you know, and I'll take breaks. I will. And I'll just eat whatever I want and go crazy on it. Um, but even me, I don't want to be that person anymore. Yeah, it would be nice to say I could change forever, but that's just not real life. We're always going to need times where we eat junk food, you know, we're just human. But another thing I do know is we're never going to feel like eating healthy after we've eaten that way. And the only way to get back on track to make yourself crave vegetables is to eat more of them. And I like to put this like on the side of a protein, um, whatever I'm eating that night for dinner, and it's really good with any kind of protein. I'm just gonna use all the rest of this up. I had some leftover um, Ken's balsamic in two different containers because I took one to travel with me. Um, and I just used it all. I, I am not uh, afraid to pour in the Ken's balsamic vinaigrette. I love that stuff and I put a lot in there today, but it was really good. Seriously, you break a sweat just shaking this bowl around and be very careful making sure all the sides are tightly shut because you've got to shake it around to evenly distribute the Ken's balsamic. It's, it's just got to be done that way. It's so much better. Pretty in rainbow color, and now you can use some to top with salads and leave it um, raw, and then you can cook some, whichever, however you want it. But it goes really good over spring mix. Parchment paper over top, and I'm gonna go ahead and set my oven to 400. Get a little spray. I'm going to dump this on here. You know, you could do one of those sheet pan meals and add chicken to this or some kind of, you know, steak or beef or something like that. Um, but I just kept it all vegetables. I like to cook the meat separate if I do that. I just storm around midway through cooking and, you know, if you don't like them cooked as much, you can take them out earlier if you like a little bit of crunch to them. Um, or you can roast them a little bit longer, but a lot of water comes off those vegetables. So I like to keep them in there for a good amount of time. Usually I'll set it for about 
close to an hour. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. I think I've got the fridge off to a good start. Now I just want to restock the rest of the kitchen, cook some more, and get this place reset. So in the next video, that's what we'll be doing.